What's up everybody? Happy March 1st. Happy first day of the pre-spawn for you northern guys like me. Today, let's go over the five best baits that you can use in the month of March to catch those pre-spawn bass. Real quick, before we get into my top five favorite baits, I want you to drop a comment below. Let me know what is your favorite bait to fish in the pre-spawn. We're just going to get right into it today. So the first one that I like to use is a football headed jig. The reason I use the football headed jig is because with this jig, you can fish deeper in the water column. It's heavier, you can take it over rocks. Even though we're in the pre-spawn stage, it's still the early pre-spawn stage here in the north. So fish are still a little bit deeper in the water column. The football head is perfect to find those bass that are still hugging tight to the bottom, but are still getting active. They're not quite there, they're not quite moving yet. They're still tight to the bottom, but they're still getting kind of hungry. So that's where this one ties that bite. If you're fishing some of the lower temperatures pre-spawns, so anything 45 to 50 degrees, I like to still fish deep and that's where this one comes into play. Another bait I like to use is just your top water walking bait. The reason I use the walking bait is because when your water temperature is at 50 degrees and beyond, the fish are active, the fish are hungry, they want to get some more energy in their body, they need to eat up to get ready for the spawn. You have the males and the females moving, looking for bedding areas, looking for easy meals. So when you use something like a walking bait, it'll make enough commotion on the top of the water that and it's going to entice that bite because they're aggressive at this point and they want a quick meal. The next bait I like to throw is just your basic 1.5 square bill crankbait. With the 1.5 square bill or even a 2.5 if you're looking for a bigger profile, these are phenomenal baits in the pre-spawn. With these baits here, they're going to give a wild erratic action. So they're going to be moving back and forth as they wobble. It's going to give that reaction strike from the bass. The bass are aggressive, so they'll even chase it. This is probably my number one go-to bait in that pre-spawn time. This bait is really good if you're looking for size and not necessarily numbers. It's a great bait to use all year round, but it's the best time of year is here during the pre-spawn. And that bait is a swim bait. I love the hard jointed swim baits just like this one. You can get bites when fish are schooling up. Typically with a swim bait like this, you're going to get the bigger fish to bite. You're not going to get a lot of fish to bite. But if you're fishing pre-spawn bass tournaments or you're trying to catch the fish of a lifetime, this is the bait that you need to throw in the pre-spawn. And don't forget, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. This other bait that I like to use, it doesn't get tossed around a lot when you're talking about pre-spawn bass. A lot of times when we're talking pre-spawn fishing, we're using moving baits, we're using bigger baits, and we're power fishing. We're trying to get through as much water as we can and cover as much water to get the bites that we can get. This presentation or this bait is something that I like to use because I like to fish a little bit slower in the pre-spawn and it's been able to get me bites on the toughest days when I'm out fishing. And that one is just a long straight tailed worm. Anything that is around a six to seven inch straight tailed worm will work perfect. The reason you can do this is this is what I like to call a do everything bait. So I can actually put this on a shaky head if I need to fish it as a shaky head. If that's not working, I can fish it as a wacky rig. If the wacky rig doesn't get me any bites, I can weight one in and fish it as a Nico rig. So this is pretty much a do all bait for me. So on the toughest days when I can't get bites, these are the first things I go to is a straight tail worm, just because I have so many different ways to present it to those fish. I hope you guys found this video to be a little bit knowledgeable for you. I hope it helps you better in the pre-spawn fishing. Please, if you did get any, any type of help out of this, please give me a like, give me a comment, and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, dude.